Good morning, guys. Here's another story that I think people need to see individually and not all wrapped up in other stuff. Because so many of the people that are against business and they want to go out and protest against them and and sue them and just say, oh, they're just bad people. Um, and they think that that maybe Jerry Brown is so great and wonderful. They, I think they really need to see this and read it. Um, and actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it for them here. I'm going to make it easy for them. Um, it says, according to the article from Investors Business Daily, Nestle is leaving the state of California and moving to Virginia to get away from the liberal state. Nestle's headquarters is moving from Glendale, California, which is near the Los Angeles, Roslyn, uh, uh, Virginia, to which is near Los Angeles, to Roslyn, Virginia, which is near Washington, D.C. Sticking to its ignorant, true self, an official from Glendale, California said, that Nestle's departure was no big deal. It was actually an opportunity for them as the company moves thousands of jobs away from the area. Um, from IBD, Nestle USA is moving its headquarters from Glendale, California, a pocket suburb just miles from downtown Los Angeles to Roslyn, Virginia, and taking 1,200, 1200 California jobs with it. Why? As many companies have found, California is an awful place for business. Um, the $26 billion a year food conglomerate is discreet, of course, about its reasons, citing a desire to be closer to its core customers and other bland corporate pabulum. But the fact is, Nestle and its corporate brethren in California that actually make things are overtaxed and overregulated. And elected officials treat them as honored. Uh, 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 and elected officials treat them not as honored members of the community, but as rapacious pirates. Still, you may wonder why did Nestle really go? Well, apart from having higher taxes, absurd housing costs, and more regulations than nearly any other state, California's wacky laws have turned the Golden State into a venue of choice for activist groups to file costly class action lawsuits or to launch anti-corporate PR campaigns against big wealthy targets like Nestle. Nestle is far from the first major company to leave California over the state's increasingly liberal policies according to a report released last year by the Spectrum blah blah blah. Um, wow, Nestle joins a list of 1,680 plus companies to leave the state since 2008. Gosh, who, what, what, what happened in 2000? Oh, that was Barack Obama. That was when he was selected by the, the super wealthy to screw up America. That's right. Folks, this, this is a great example. It's another great example of what has happened to California. Not just since Barack Obama came in. This has been going on for a lot longer. California has become increasingly tough, really tough, to do business in. You know, I remember my ex fiance and I, we talked about setting up a hot dog stand on the beach out in LA. And we were just going to run it ourselves. Thank goodness that never happened. We would have been. Oh my word, we would have been overregulated to death. It would never have paid off. And of course that was back, you know, before the days of, of Obama. But the fact is we would have been destroyed. And I mean we would have been charging eight dollars for a doggone hot dog. It's ridiculous. They're driving people out of business and out of the state but and, and there's they're so stupid these people are just absolutely dumber in a post and I mean it that's not an exaggeration I have put posts in the ground who can think circles around Jerry Brown and all the rest of the people in the California State Congress 
That's how dumb these people are. Anyway, it, it, and you know, so a lot of them, they are psychotic. And anyway, they they truly believe in what they're doing. Some of them, but most of them, they're just being paid to destroy the state. Anyway, that's all, guys. God bless y'all. Have a great day, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye bye.